Good morning. Good morning. Uh, before I begin, I would like to say a prayer. Uh, so it, that is not in my notes either. But All right, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this morning. Father, I am a man who is not perfect, but you have found me willing and uh, worthy to be here. God, I pray this morning that your spirit speaks through me to these good people. And that the power of your word can help to change their lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. This morning I want to talk about goodbyes. Everyone in life has to say them at some point. Not many people like them. Even though in life there are good goodbyes and bad goodbyes. If I am saying goodbye to the flu, it is a good goodbye. But when we say goodbye to people we love and have built relationships with, 如果我们对那些就是我们所爱的，而且已经跟他们建立很密切关系的人说再见，那是一个啊啊不好的一个再再见。It is a sad goodbye。那是那是一个非常令人伤心的。You have friends who move away during grade school。啊，有时候我们会离开呃呃，比如说离开学校，就毕业了，我们离开我们的朋友。You know you will more than likely never see them again. You graduate from high school and say goodbye to your friends. Because they move away to a new school. You get a job in a new city. And you must leave friends in your hometown. A family gathers around a dying loved one. To say their final goodbye. When we say goodbye to people we love, we are indeed saddened by the thought that we may never see them again in this life. But many times we can have things that can bring us joy in these times of sadness. The joyful moments we had together. The things we learned from each other while we were together. But if you are like me, you have people in your life that you have said goodbye to. Who you wish you could have just a few more minutes with them to tell them something very important. That friend who is caught in a sin that will destroy his life. 
，特别是那些朋友，他们被那些罪所捆绑的那些啊那些朋友。That loved one who is dying, if they do not know the love, grace, and forgiveness of Jesus. 特别是啊，刚才除了刚才讲说，除了被罪所捆绑那些之外，还有就是那些啊即将过世的你所爱的人。What would you say if you had one more conversation with them? 呃，如果你有这个，如果你呃，如果你有更多的机会来这个跟他们之间有更多的对话 ，Wouldn't it be nice if we did not have these conversations that we never had hanging over us？ 呃，如果我们有更多机会来跟他们对话的话，那我呃，就是那是非常好的一件事情啊，非常好的一件事情。This morning we will read about a man who was able to say goodbye with a clear conscience. 呃，今早上我要跟大家分享一个，就是一个人啊，他就是他就是跟呃跟别人来说再见啊，跟别人来说再见。对。Please turn to Acts chapter twenty. 我们请各位，我们在呃，因为我们今天没有做 PowerPoint 啊，所以请大家翻到《使徒行传》二十章，二十章。所以我们在桌上都有，在椅子上都有准备我们圣经。The background of this story is that Paul is traveling from region to region. 呃，这个这段故事的背景是，他说保罗呢，就是从一个他说是传道旅行，所以呢，他从一个城市呢到另外一个城市。His destination is Jerusalem, where he could very well be murdered for his belief in Jesus. 呃，他这个时候呢，保罗要到哪里去呢？到耶路撒冷去。那大家知道，耶路撒冷对保罗是非常不友善的，所以可能因为他到了耶路撒冷以后，因为保罗的信仰，因为他信耶稣基督，可能他会在那边被杀。Our story picks up shortly after Paul's preaching puts a young man to sleep. 呃，我们在这里会讲一点很短的故事，就讲到保罗那时候在离开以弗所的时候，前一个晚上，大家都还记得的话，他是讲到讲到半夜，就那时候呢，有一个呃，就是有一个年轻人，年轻人就是睡着了。The young man was sitting in a window ledge, and when he fell asleep, he fell out and died. 这个年轻人呢、啊，就是坐在那个床沿，就是窗沿上面。结果呢，他听听呢，大概太累了，就睡着了。睡着以后呢，就掉下去了，就跌下去了，就死掉了。But Paul brought him back to life with the power of God's spirit. 但是保罗呢，就是借着上帝的这个大能呢、啊，让这个这个年轻人呢、啊，就恢复，就是就是活过来了。I hope none of you fall asleep and die when I preach. Because I do not have the power to bring you back from the dead like Paul did. Very simple. Because if you fall asleep and die, you will really fall asleep. I will not have the power to bring you back from the dead like Paul did. Very simple. Because if you fall asleep and die, you will really fall asleep. I will not have the power to bring you back from the dead like Paul did. Very simple. Because if you fall asleep and die, 所以在啊，保罗这个继续他的行程之前呢、啊，他就跟一群这个长老，这群长老跟保罗是也是非常。